Stangibilisco here. Uh, on a Sunday afternoon, finally got over the cold, that is the weather cold for the moment. Uh, and it looks like we're continuing to have a dry winter. Well, the advice I have today is a little bit unorthodox. Maybe most of you already do this, but I have a feeling that a lot of people don't. You know those little uh, radio transmitters that you can put on your car key ring to open your car locks from a distance? So as you're walking towards your car, it saves you the trouble of having to use the key to unlock your car. You can just punch that button and it'll be unlocked for you. Now talk about ridiculous conveniences. United States of asininity. Asininity? The, the, uh, the, the property of being asinine. Is that an art? Well, anyway, uh, the United States of the art of asininity. You put that little transmitter on your key ring, and then one day you make the mistake of locking your keys in your car. Your car running. Oh, beautiful. You can get in very easily, except there's just one problem. That little radio transmitter's inside the car. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Not in Stangibilisco's wild, wild, wonderful world of wackiness. It's attached to his wallet instead. I don't think I've ever actually locked my keys in the car accidentally, but I have done it on purpose so that I could uh, run that car and warm it up and not have to worry about anybody here in the black holes of Dakota Toritary United States of Asininity stealing it as if they would up here in, in Leed, L-E-A-D, my hometown, but it isn't unheard of. There's zero chance of it if it's locked. Uh, some cars won't lock, though, I should warn you. Uh, if you have it so that the keys are already in it and it's running, you can't lock it even with this little trick. You couldn't do that with big number eight, but you can do it with hard luck number nine. Stan is signing off. Maybe that'll save you some grief someday. Until next time, so long.